gentlemen, welcome to Winnemac High School for Senior Night. It's at this time I get the honor of introducing you to the seniors in the various groups involved in this evening's festivities. Let me begin this evening by introducing you to the senior members of our band. First, let me introduce you to Ms. Kelsey Connor. Kelsey is being escorted this evening by James and Mary Connor. She has been involved with band for four years at WCHS. Her plans after high school are to attend the Heron School of Art, where she hopes to obtain a degree in drawing and illustration, which she'll use to become an art professor while also selling artwork. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kelsey Connor. Next, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Miss Amber Depke. She's being escorted this evening by Amanda Depke. She's also a four-year participant in band here at WCHS. Her future plans are to attend cosmetology school to get a cosmetology license. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Amber Depke. Next, let me introduce you to Mr. R.J. Link. RJ is being escorted this evening by Donnie and Leslie Link. He also has participated in band at WCHS for four years. RJ would like to attend a trade school and become an auto mechanic as his future plans. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. RJ Link. Next, let me introduce you to Miss Anna Miller. Anna is being escorted this evening by Abby Dickey and Paul Miller. She also has participated in, in band at WCHS for four years. And his future plans are to attend Purdue for either botany or education. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Anna Miller. Next, let me introduce you to Miss Mackenzie Mitchell. She's being escorted this evening by Josh and Sarah Mitchell. She is a four-year participant in both band and golf, who will also be honored here this evening. Her future plans are to attend Purdue and major in elementary education. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Mackenzie Mitchell. Next, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Miss Sarah Padilla. Sarah is being escorted this evening by her parents, Maria and Balthazar Padilla. She also is a four-year participant in band at WCHS. Her future plans are attend IUPUI and study accounting. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Sarah Padilla. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, for the band this evening, let me introduce you to Mr. Eric Schwartz. Eric is being escorted this evening by Rodney and Jolene Schwartz. Yet another four-year participant in band at WCHS. Eric's future plans are to attend Purdue University and major in planetary sciences. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Eric Schwartz. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the Warrior football team, starting with the managers. Our first this, this evening is Miss Whitney Chumley. She's being escorted this evening by her brother, Kyle Chumley. She has participated as a football manager for three years at WCHS. Her plan is to go to Purdue University to major in psychology. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Whitney Chumley. Next, let me introduce you to Miss Riley Doherty. She's being escorted this evening by her mother, Andrea Callahan. She, once again, has participated as a manager for football for three years by the WCHS. Her future plans are to attend college and become a pediatric oncology nurse. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Riley Doherty. Ladies and gentlemen, next, let me introduce you to Miss Breland Runyon. She's being escorted this evening by Lane and Karen Cole. She has been a manager for football here at WCHS for one year. Her future plans are to go to the Army as a medevac nurse, and afterwards she might go to school to be an OBGYN. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Braylon Runyon. And our last manager this evening, let me introduce you to Miss Brooklyn Ulrich. She's being escorted this evening by her father, Colin Ulrich. 
Brooklyn has been a three-year manager for the Warrior football team. Her future plans are to attend at IU and major in nursing. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Brooklyn Ulrich. And now let me begin introducing you to the football players. Ladies and gentlemen, first let me introduce you to Mr. Connor Alexander. He's being escorted this evening by Nellie Alexander and Tracy Alexander. He's participated for uh, one year at Winnemag High School for football. And his future plans are to move to Florida and be a real estate agent. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Connor Alexander. Next, let me introduce you to Mr. Dennis Bennell. He's being escorted this evening by Matt and Christine Bennell. He's been a three-year player here at WCHS on the football team. His future plans are after high school, plan to work full-time at a local farm. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dennis Bennell. Next, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Mr. Bo Brandt. Bo is being escorted this evening by Jeff and Tammy Brandt. Bo has participated in football at WCHS for four years. His future plans are to attend Purdue and major in agribusiness and return to the family farm. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bo Brandt. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Mr. Dylan Brown. He's being escorted this evening by Tammy Brown. Another four-year player at WCHS on the football team. And it, his future plans are to pursue a career in law enforcement. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dylan Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, next let me introduce you to Mr. Charlie Buffet. He's being escorted this evening by Rachel Fox and John Chris. He's been here at WCHS for one year. Charlie is our exchange student from France. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Mr. Charlie Buffet. Next, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Hayden Clark. He's being escorted this evening by Dan and Lindsey Clark. Another four-year player at WCHS on the football team whose future plans are to attend Parkland College in Champaign, Illinois to major in automotive science. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Hayden Clark. <coughs> Next up, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Russell Compton. He's being escorted this evening by Chad and April Compton. Another four-year player at WCHS whose plans are to attend college for sports science. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Russell Compton. Next, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Mr. Brendan Day. He's being escorted this evening by Colin and Tony Day, another four-year player here at WCHS on the football team. His future plans are to major in mathematics at Purdue University. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brendan Day. Next, let me introduce you to Mr. Caleb Good. He is being escorted this evening by Jeff and Shirley Good. This is his first year participating in football at WCHS. His future plans are to enlist in the U.S. Air Force, and he'll be doing his tech training in Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Caleb Good. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ryan Greger. He's being escorted this evening by his brothers Josh and Kyle Greger. He has been playing football at WCHS also for one year. His future plans are to attend Ball State and get his bachelor's in computer science. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ryan Greger. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Braden Heater is up next. He's being escorted this evening by Ray Heater and Beth Rood. Braden is another four-year player here at WCHF. HS with the plans of attending Indiana Wesley and majoring in sports management. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Braden Heater. Next, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Mr. Xavier Holohan. He is being escorted this evening by Marion Stephen Holohan. He has been a four-year player on, on a football team, both at his previous schools and here at WCHS. His plans are to attend Purdue next fall or a similar university to major in agricultural engineering or medical bioengineering. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Xavier Holohan. 
Next, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Jaden Klingerman. He's being escorted this evening by Erica Rogers. This is his first year playing here at Winnemac High School, but he also played three years of football at Plymouth. His plans are to go to college and study technology stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jaden Klingerman, bro. Next, let me introduce you to Gonzalo Matios. He is being escorted this evening by Rachel Fox and John Chris. He has per participated in football for one year while at WSDHS. His future plans are to study veterinary medicine at the, at the University of Madrid, back home in his hometown in Spain. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Gonzalo Matios. Ladies and gentlemen, next let me introduce you to Mr. Max Murray. Being escorted this evening by his parents, Tim and Joe Murray. Another gentleman who's played four years of football here at WCHS with the future plan of going to Purdue University and majoring in elementary education. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Max Murray. Ladies and gentlemen, next let me introduce you to Mr. Kyle Olds. He is being escorted this evening by Mike and Joyce Olds. He's another four years player here at Winnemac High School. Um, and his future plans are going to trade school. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kyle Olds. <laughs> Next, let me introduce you to Mr. Tyler Perry. He's being escorted this evening by Derek and Marcy Perry. This is Tyler's first year playing football here at WCHS. His future plans are to go to Purdue University and major in business. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Tyler Perry. Next, let me introduce you to Mr. Sean Pratt. He is being escorted this evening by Gary and Sandy Pratt. Sean's another four-year player here at Winnemac High School with the plans for the future to attend a school for kinesiology and exercise science. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for Mr. Sean Pratt. Next, let me introduce you to Mr. Jackson Radabush. Tonight, he's being escorted by his parents, Scott and Michelle Radabush. He's participated at Winnemac High School in football for four years with the future plans of attending Indiana University to study finance. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jackson Radabush. Ladies and gentlemen, next, let me introduce you to Mr. Logan Schultz. Logan is being escorted this evening by his parents, Todd and Susie Schultz. Yet another young man who's played at Winnemac for four years of football. His future plans are to go to college and study agriculture or business. Ladies and gentlemen, one more warrior welcome for Logan Schultz. Next, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Mr. Remington Schwartz. He's being escorted this evening by Kathy Fritz and John Fritz. Yet another young man who's played at WCHS for four years. Remy's future plans are to go to a trade school and study an electrical program. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for Remington Schwartz. Next, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Caleb Seymour. He is being escorted this evening by Scott and Lori Seymour. He has participated at Winnemac High School for three years. On uh, His future plans are to attend Ball State for Sports Administration. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Caleb Seymour. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, last but certainly not least, let me introduce you to Mr. Jaden Terry. He's being escorted this evening by his parents, Jimmy and Tara Terry. Yet another young man who's played at WCHS in football for four years. Um, his future plans are, are for to attend ROTC at Purdue University with the goal to pursue a military career as an officer. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Jaden Terry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, look at this great group of individuals in front of you. Let's give them one more big warrior round of applause for their contributions to Warrior Football and band.
No. You good? I so, think so. He's apparently finished. He's gonna take them. The pregame thing just kind of ends them. After the for, and then for the anthem, then they're gonna uh, <coughs> set up a banner for the seniors down through the whole team's gonna run through it. So you can just announce up the cheerleaders, up the Oh, Okay. After they, they run set. through the second time. <coughs> after the national anthem, when they get set up to run through the banner. Like, cooperation because it allows our athletes to continue to participate in events like this evening. So we thank you for your cooperation. Remind you once again, ladies and gentlemen, there's no pass out for tonight's game. If you do leave the facilities, you'll be required to pay before coming back in. Remind you also once again that this evening that the Eastern Blast High School Corporation is a tobacco-free facility. Also in the uh, essence of social distancing, we please ask that the visitors use the east side of the concession stand and the home fans please use the west side of the concession stand. Yeah, they'll probably like it. Let me remind you one more time, ladies and gentlemen, that all elementary and middle school students should remain seated during the game. If not, you may be asked to leave. Here we go. Hello, kids again. I know, we're hammering away on the kids. Here we go. Welcome to Winamac TV. Wait, wait a second. Wait, we're good. I we think we're good. good. Yeah, we're good now. Yeah. Welcome to Winamac TV. Tim Garrett, my partner, the captain, Shay Cast, and we're hanging out in the frat house here at Rodebush Field, where uh, it's senior night. Shay, as, yeah. Uh, how about Mexico's that senior take, night? You know, I'm I'm all for seniors. Um, Chad Watts, how about his ability <laughs> wow. to uh, to make that happen? Actually, that's a really good shot on your TV at home of Chad Watts. So Chad Watts is filling your widescreen TV right now, and you know. That we're was lucky to have that. That was impressive what Chad just what Chad just did. You know what? There were a lot of seniors. There were. Holy moly! And the Chad Compton, uh, the Dean of Compton, out there hanging out and, and, and uh, you know what? We got Coach Hugler up here with us tonight. Yeah. What's up, Coach? Good. Good to see Coach Hugler. He needs. He's probably has he gotten into those pig shots yet? He needs to. I I, I think he has. You think he has? He's only had four. He's wow. Only had four man. <laughs> My gosh. He must be on a diet or something. So I don't know how many calories are in those pig shots, but it I doesn't don't care. matter. It yeah. doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. So we're getting ready for um, 
the game tonight. I'm really excited about it. A good matchup. Winnemac comes into this game uh, with a record of 6-0. and <clears throat> So this is the the cap of the, the season. So they win tonight against Triton. This will be their first undefeated season in five or six years, maybe. Five or six years, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, um, Triton comes in three at five, but, you know, they're um, – they're always a tough game. They always play us tough. I think we won, was it 10-9 to 9 up there at Triton last year? So I'm, I'm expecting a good game tonight, Tim. Yeah, so just looking through looking through Triton, they, uh, op- they won their opener against uh, South Central, and then they lost a really cl- close game in week two against LaVille, and that mm-hmm. game went into overtime. Wow. Um, so that that had to be a good one to watch, and that was at LaVille. LaVille is always a tough team. Right. Um, they they did take care of Caston by a pretty good margin. Bremen by a – let's see, they got they got taken out by Bremen by a pretty big margin, 35-7. to seven. Mm-hmm. Um, Culver they beat, but that was a pretty tight game. You know, Culver Culver plays some, some, pretty, some pretty good football. And they lost to Pioneer by a score of twenty six six. But you know that Pioneer Winnemac played Pioneer and handled them pretty well. But Pioneer had some really key kids out of the lineup right. for that game. Shit. That and I, maybe a few COVID issues with some other starters. So um, I, I did see I, minimal research here before the game. Um, I seen they have a running back, Anthony Shu. I think that's how you pronounce okay. it. Um, he's got over a thousand yards rushing so far. He's Holy sitting cow. at ten fifty two. So ten fifty two in he, eight games. Yeah, so he can rush. Their second leading rusher was sophomore Cole Shively, their quarterback, um, and he was somewhere you know one hundred and seventy or something like that. So watch out for uh, number twenty two, Anthony Shu tonight, and he's just a sophomore, six one uh, two oh five. So big okay. kid. Looks like they spread the ball around a lot on on the passing game. Yeah. So I don't know the extent to which they pass, but it looks like it's a pretty even. They got one, two, three, four, five, six different receivers that receive the ball, um, and it doesn't look like it's lopsided in, okay. to any one kid. So you know the secondary better watch out because any one of these kids could be breaking out into uh, open field. And, okay, and I think I think they come out into a, a bunch. They'll run a bunch of different formations if I remember right. It's been a couple years since we've seen them. But. Well, you know, I just got to tell you, I'm just so impressed at how much work you put into the pregame. <laughs> and uh, pretty impressive. Shay. You know, the only work I put into the pregame was these pick shots. Well, those are excellent. And the brownies. I've had like two rows of brownies. I feel also. like you've done a good job with that. So. I think Gretchen just wants me to stay up all night, so she feeds me a bunch of sugar. I think that might, that might be the deal. So this is our last home football game. So what do we have coming up? We have uh, here at Winnemac tomorrow, uh, the high school volleyball team yes. goes to Boone Grove. Correct. And game one is tomorrow at around, is it noon? I mean, no, I'm not real sure. Maybe so one our time. At 1 o'clock Eastern, perhaps. And that's at Boone Grove, but we're going to be playing Rensselaer, Correct. the Rensselaer Bombers, right? Right. How's the, the general Coach Casson feeling about that? I think she feels pretty good. We played Rensselaer really early in the season, maybe our third game. Um, we had six players at that time. And uh, I don't remember. I think they beat us in three, but I don't feel like we played terrible. They're, she feels like she feels good about it. So Awesome. And then uh, I'm not sure what happens on the other side of the bracket. And I, I believe we also have, what, cross-country regionals tomorrow? Yeah. Yes, so we that's have. going on also. I think boys and girls teams both advanced. Right. So, so that's that that's New Prairie? I, I couldn't tell Culver. you. Culver. I think it's Culver. Somebody said Culver. Culver Military? Maybe. Okay. So a lot going on as far as uh, athletics. Also a JV football game. JV tomorrow. football game at Triton at, at 10 Triton. o'clock. Okay. So, yeah, a lot of – it is ending with a lot of fury. Yeah, a lot of man, fervor. This, a lot of fervor. You know, yeah. this fall season has has really been packed um, mm-hmm. with a lot of stuff going on. It's went fast. It has went it fast. Has, it's went really fast, it seems like. So, yeah, getting ready for the uh, national anthem here. Yeah. We'll let that happen. What's this go to, Tim? Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I ask that you please rise and remove your hats 
as we honor America and our troops around the world with the playing of our national anthem. This evening's national anthem will be performed tonight by the Winnemac Band. You know, our band has gotten a lot better as the, the year went along. Yes, they have, Tim. So this is a pretty big banner. What, what is this? Did you make I, this banner, Che? I, yeah, yeah, that's, why I, that's why I couldn't do research. I was spending the day making this banner. Well, you know, it looks like something that you would probably do. So let's take a... It's a lot of paper. That is a lot of paper. Hey, Rich Sider's here. Uh-oh. He's gonna get. He's not gonna need the instant replay tonight. <laughs> twenty, twenty bucks says he sniffs out these big shots. <laughs> oh, great job! You know, good job, Brian Leverins tonight. This is a lot to organize. I mean, Chad Watts gets all the credit for reading off everybody's names, but there's a lot of time that goes into that. Brand new yeah. athletic director. I think he's doing okay. Jay. How about the timing? He had each person just timed perfect you know, he, coming he down. He was the... real serious about making sure no one left before they were supposed right. to. Um, yeah, no, it was very nice. He's doing a he's doing a really good job. He here. is doing a nice job. So I think we're going to jump over to a really quick break and word for our sponsor. We're going to be right back. Thank you to these sponsors of Winnemac High School Sports. With your sponsorship, you support all of Winnemac High School's athletics, ensuring that Warrior Pride is alive and well. From football to volleyball, your sponsorship helps provide the supplies needed to keep these teams at the best that they can be. If you'd like to learn more about how your business can help support Winnemac High School, call in today at 574-946-4010 to start supporting your local school sports athletic program. Welcome back to Winnemac TV. The Tim Gerhardt, my partner, the captain, Shay Caston. We have the Dean of Compton, the Chad Compton, who is also straight out of Compton. <laughs> and to mention Compton, this game is actually brought to you by Compton Lawn Care and Lawn Care Services. And snow plowing. And, well, and snow plowing. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you, know, some, you know, Chad sometimes doesn't laugh when we do that. <laughs> he did tonight. tonight. He did. He's he in, did. He's in a good mood. <laughs> so it's not raining, so he's happy. It so, could be, though. It could be raining. So appreciate our sponsors tonight. You know, yeah. I was just thinking about, um, you know, Chad, obviously, uh, Russell Compton out there has a senior and a lot of parents here, um, gosh, that has seniors. Talked yeah. about all year how big of a senior class this football team has. They've had to break up senior night into pregame senior night and halftime senior night. Wow. Because there's so many kids to recognize. And That's a good, that's a that's good thing. That's pretty awesome. That's this a good is, thing. This is an engaged Active how senior many, class. How many football seniors were there? Do you know? I think there's. Chad, is there know? 22 football seniors? I think it. 
21, 22 uh, seniors on the football wow. team. Good deal. A bunch of kids on the band. Uh, just, a yeah. lot, just a really active senior class. That's so, awesome. That is cool. And I was, I was kind of reflecting on that. I, I just think it's a hard time to be a student and a kid. <laughs> yeah. And uh, The last couple of years. You know yeah. what? Graduating high school right now, you know. <laughs> God bless you. you know, right. I, I'm, I'm proud of those kids. Yeah, the last so. couple of years have been tough for kids with everything that's happened. And I'm glad that they could be honored tonight. This looks like we're going out for the uh, uh, coin flip. Looks like yeah. Russell and uh, Bo Brand are out there for the Warriors. Yeah. Cole Shively for Triton. He's out there. And then I lost the other numbers in the translation. <laughs> so... We're going to keep an eye. One of the games we're going to keep an eye on tonight is the the North Judson um, Pioneer Pioneer game tonight. I think that's going to be a good game. We're actually going to have that on in the background so we can kind of pay attention to it. It's not going to start until 7.30. Okay. Oh, um, time zone, yeah. Yeah, they're in a different time zone. So I wasn't paying attention. I don't know what we're, if we're receiving or. I'm not sure either. I, so we rely on Chad Watts for a lot of this stuff, and I don't think Chad was paying attention. You so. know what? <laughs> okay, Andy Stepp, he got it. Yeah. He knows what we're doing, so yeah, we're we good. Talked about it? We haven't talked about Andy Stepp No, tonight. well, he doesn't have the skull mask on down there. So. You know, I do have beard envy with Andy Stepp. <laughs> we did an interview last week, and I saw my beard next to his. I'm like, you you shaved. Know, I'm, just, I'm just shaving it off. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> So that was a fun interview. I enjoyed talking to Andy. Andy kind of slipped in. I didn't see him come in. Hey, there's yeah, he Aubrey. Did sneak in. What's up, Obs? What's going on? I thought you were handing that to me. <laughs> no, I don't want your coffee. <laughs> That's all right. Have a couple of pig shots. You need to try them. So it looks like we're receiving, Tim. Yeah. I'm for it. So the sophomore, Cole Shively, who I think we're going to be saying his name a lot tonight, right. is going to oh, start with an onside kick. And they recover. Oh, man. Caught Winnemette wow. completely by surprise. Wow. Really what, really what Triton needed to do. I oh, mean, man. You know what? They're taking risks. Yeah. They're coming in clearly the underdogs tonight. And the onside kick, that just makes sense. So, at, you know, and... Why not? You know, they're coming into a hostile environment. Why not? I, I love the call. Yeah. So, Coach Eunice, is that how you pronounce I it? Coach guess, Rodney yeah. Eunice? So, yeah. Fun chess game right out yeah, of the gate yeah. with the opening kickoff. And that's what, you know, you, you, know, you want to watch the players out there, but there's also that chess game between the coaches. Yeah. Hand off right away to Shu, and he's, Wow. Russell Compton's going to end up bringing him down. But, man, Shu delivered a couple pretty wow. big hits. This kid's alone. I think it's going to take more than one warrior to bring him down on a consistent basis. There's a basis. reason he has over 1,000 yards rushing, Well, Tim. you know what? <laughs> he's probably eating a lot of pig shots in his day, <laughs> <Yeah>. Captain. <laughs> what do you think of those? Have you had a pig shot before? Pretty awesome. So it's going to be second and we'll call it seven. Right back to him. He's going to be hitting the backfield and brought down. Great Huge job, tackle. number 15. Tyler Perry with the tackle. What's up, Obbs? How's it going, Shay? Not much. How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? Back from college? Absolutely. How's it going so far? Um, it's pretty good. We practice quite a bit. The college uh, um, athlete life is a lot more um, of a commitment. A little than more I, demanding. Than I, right. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I knew it was going to be a lot, but you really, there's no way to know until you experience it for the first time. But I love it. I'm really glad That's that so I had this you're opportunity. You're enjoying it. Absolutely, for sure. A little screenplay there. And the Warriors cover it good, so it's going to be fourth and what ten? You think? Yeah, we'll call say, it nine. Yeah, we'll call. Yeah, we'll call it nine. So, you have any games yet? But you've been practicing. No, have yes. practice games. Your dad said yes, went wrong. yes, we have okay. scrimmages. There's a limited amount of scrimmages that you can have during the off season. So um, we do our best to try and get in as many as we can with a with the time limit that we have. But okay, yeah. 
Now, do you um, are you going to go like down south? Do you guys go to like Florida and play? Yeah, this? so we'll play um, in Florida. I think in Kissimmee sometime in the later end of March, I would say. Okay, but I'm not entirely sure. And then back up here for your regular season. Yes, absolutely. Okay, cool. Yeah, it should be good. And how how about college just in general? Do you um, just like it? Yeah, I I love it. It's a really great opportunity. I love um, Indiana Wesleyan. It's a really great place for me to be. That's in Marion. Yes. It's in okay. Marion. Thought so. Well, good. So, what do you think about the Warriors tonight? I'm really excited. I haven't gotten to see them play yet this year. I intended on watching a few games online, <laughs> but uh, with the practice schedule, that didn't really happen as often as I would have liked it to. <laughs> so. I was really glad I got to come back for senior night. Good. Tell them to come up later once it's a blowout and they can get on and catch us up. What's that? Tell them to come up at third, like later in the game when it's a blowout and they can catch us. Tell who? Oh. Hey, you want to come up later in the game when it's a blowout? <laughs> sure, I sure do. I sure do, Shay. I'll make sure to Oh, make Triton that just recovered you. a fumble. Is Triton not very. Not they're two strong. and five, but they're, they're usually five. they're usually a pretty good team. Okay, I thought Triton so, had a had a strong yeah, they, program in the past few years, but I wasn't so entirely sure. So they've got uh, great field position. The Warriors are a little flat tonight. So it's gonna be first and goal from about the six. It looks like. Thanks, Aubrey. Oh. So, okay. What do you think, Tim? Well, first to go, you know, everything's went Triton's way except their offense. Right, and there's uh, – he's in. Looks like it. Yeah. Kids a touchdown wow. signaled. Shoe with the touchdown. Well, that happened quick. You know, recover the onside kick. The defense stands, holds them, puts them three and out. Mm -hmm. um, they kick on fourth down. <coughs> Opening play, um, fumble recovered by Triton. Bam. Yep. Wow. So Winnemac, this is their first uh, deficit, I think, this year, right? I think so. I think they're going to go for the extra point here. And that's going to be, be good. good. Okay. Early here in Winnemac, wow. Triton looking to try to upset the uh, undefeated Winnemac Warriors currently on the board 7 to nothing. Wow. So Warriors uh, crowd here it's packed and it's pretty quiet, it's Tim. Pretty quiet. Let's jump to a quick break. We'll be right back. Thank you to these sponsors of Winnemac High School Sports. With your sponsorship, you support all of Winnemac High School's athletics, ensuring that Warrior Pride is alive and well. From football to volleyball, your sponsorship helps provide the supplies needed to keep these teams at the best that they can be. If you'd like to learn more about how your business can help support Winnemac High School, call in today at 574-946-4010 to start supporting your local school sports athletic program. Welcome back to Winnemac TV. Tim Gearhart, my partner, the captain, Shay Caston. Here comes the kickoff by Triton. It's going to be Cole Shively on the kickoff. I mean, this one's going to be a kind of a line drive kick. It's going to be taken by Pratt. It's like Pratt caught it on his yeah. knees, and they called him down right you away. Know, you know what? That was a pretty good job just catching that ball. It was. Um, so Sean did what he had to. Nothing wrong with that. Yep. Pretty um, deep kick. <laughs> yeah, the Warriors are going to start on about the nine again, Tim. So I'll let's be see excited to see, see what this offense can actually do. Oh, there's definitely no need to worry here. It's like Heater split out wide towards us. Heater been a, a frequent target. It's going to go to Hayden Clark. He's going to be brought down. Wow. Might have picked up a yard yeah, or two. Like he got think? a yard and a half, maybe. Triton, Triton Trojans definitely playing with some fervor here. Yeah, there's a lot of fervor on the other side of the field right now. I see Coach Croft out there tonight, right below us. Yeah. He snuck up and got, grabbed a pig shot or two, didn't he? Not yet. No. I'm say he just put a piece of gum in. Okay. Rusty rolls out. He's in all kinds of trouble. Wow. wow. Oh, oh, mercy. Huge sack. 
Russell Compton sack in the backfield. Wow, Tim. That is not what we're interested in having happen. It's going to bring us down to about the five-yard line, it looks like. Yeah. About the four-yard About the four. Ball's going to be on about the four-yard line. It's going to be set third and 14. Yep, Russell out of the shotgun. Designed run right up the middle. Russell's got some room. He's going to, he's going to get... Nice. I think he got the first down, Tim. He got her? Nope. He's going to be about a yard short. Oh, it's right on. I think they're going to measure. So great, 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 great play design by the Warriors staff. Official timeout for a measurement on this one. I'm going to bring the chains out. Have we talked about the chain gang yet tonight? We haven't I talked we about have. him yet. We've got Polly over there. And is Polly on the chain? Yep, he is. He's, He's holding up the number four, isn't he? I'm not sure who else is on it. Well, Polly with the four on his sign hopes to flip it over to one here momentarily. Don't look like he's going Pretty to be quiet able to. Crowd. He's about six inches short. Like you know, six inches, what do you do? You're deep in your own territory. Nothing's really went your way. I'm, do you go ahead and let Russell keep it and have him yeah, run I'm up under center? Giving it to Russell or Hayden Clark right up the middle. You've had a, you've got a great defense all year. Why not? It's early. It's the first quarter. You know, I would be willing to bet that Russell has not had a quarterback sneak for a loss the entire season. And yeah. he just needs six six inches. I mean, you have uh, Olds and Schultz up there. And there he goes. He's got it. He's and got it. And probably has two or three yards. Yeah. Yeah, you just, just tuck it in behind Schultz and Olds and go, you know. Let's take another look at that. That was a some tough yards there by yeah. Russell. A lot of white shirts. Yep. You know, I think Chad Watts would say that he was tackled by a whole host of Trojans. <laughs> it was hard to tell who, who made that tackle. So Sean Pratt out on our side, split out. Handoff's going to go to, sure, who is that? No. Looks like there might have been a footing issue there, Tim. That was Jaden Jones. Jones got a yard and a half, maybe. Couple yards on the play. Second down. It's going to be second and eight. Redbone's watching at home. He said the boys better wake up. Well, they better listen to Redbone. Here comes Hayden Clark He's around got the some end. Room. Puts his head down. Great run by Big Hayden Clark. Down. Oh, a 10 yard run. First down. Hmm. Take another look at that one. You know, the offensive line does a really nice job there holding their blocks mm -hmm. and allowing room there on the right side. Once he, once he got that corner. So it's going to be first and ten. That Caleb Good split out towards us. Russell under out of the shotgun. He's going to hand it off to Terry. Terry gets the corner. Great block there yeah. by Hayden Clark. And Jaden Terry fights for five or six yards. It's a play they've had a lot of success with this year, yeah. Tim. Great blocking, in particular that block by Hayden. Really set that up. I'm going to call that an eight-yard game. Wow, good deal. You know, this senior class, this team, the, the little things are fun to watch. When, mm -hmm. when guys are throwing big blocks and uh, the way that this line can really dominate a game, um, really strong offensive line. Yeah. And then, you know, then you get the backs and Russell's passing. And here comes Russell back to pass. He's, he's, that's going to be intentional in, grounding, I would guess. Yeah, there's nobody anywhere around. Yeah. They're just calling it a – it looks like they're going to talk about it. The Triton camera guy out on the ledge thinks it was uh, – There, they got a fly. So – you know, what is that, loss of five? Yeah, something like that. So you that. know what? Losing five yards is way better than losing 12 yards. So, you know, <laughs> maybe that wasn't that bad of a decision. No, you're, you're right, Tim. 
intentional grounding the call against the Warriors. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a 10-yard walk off. 10. And the loss of down. Oh my, that does hurt then. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's a little worse than we originally thought. Yeah, yeah we're going to call it third and 13. Third Chad Watts calling it 14. We're, I'm we're, calling we're it 13. We're going to give him the benefit of the doubt. We're going to say 13. Yeah. Got an error on our side. So this is another passing down, you would think. Going to hand it no. off to Jones. Jones, nowhere to go. Triton defense wow. holds. You know, Jaden Jones, once he springs free and gets north and south, he's quick, but he just wasn't able to make his turn. No. Yeah, he was covered pretty good. So, Winnemac's going to have to punt. Yep, it's going to be fourth and a bunch. 21, Braden Heater in the punt formation for the Warriors. And here comes Heater's punt. Good punt. And he's going to be taken down. The Warriors right there. Let's take another look at that. Workman was brought down. Looked like Tyler Perry maybe was in on that. You know, Braden Heater's punts have gotten really good this year. Yes, A lot of hang have. time. That hang time is so critical because it gives the Winnemac uh, Warriors enough time to get down there. And, man, they're just swarming uh, yeah, the that, receiver. Yeah, that was a really nice punt. I don't know yardage wise. I don't know how far it went, but it was it was a really nice punt, Tim. <laughs> so the Trojans will take over on about the I don't know thirty six yard line. The handoff goes to Schumann. No, but nothing there. Great penetration. I've said his name a lot tonight, Tim. Yeah. He's being a factor. Mm -hmm. Mercy. So we're under five minutes to go here in this first quarter. It's been a quick uh, quick first quarter sure so far. Has. Triton really making it interesting. They, they're definitely playing inspired. Back to pass. Terry, nowhere to go. And he's going to be brought down. Huge and sack. A little bit of after extracurricular activity there. No flags. Is that Jaden Terry? I don't think so. I think, I'm think i not sure who it was. Oh, Jaden Terry initially missed it. Is that Perry in on it? Yep. Wow. Perry's all going. over the place tonight. It's going to be third and 25. That's a bunch. Triton, they can pass the ball. This freshman can pass, throw the ball, or yeah, this, this sophomore. Is certainly a passing situation. He can throw the ball around. He drops back to pass. Zane Bell in the backfield. Damn. Nowhere to go. <laughs> Zane, Zane Bell was in the backfield quick, Tim. Wow. He's, Zane's what? What is Zane? Six five? Six, He's not six. a little guy. No, and uh, he jumped. He might up. even be taller than you, Shay. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. Andy Stepp isn't so sure. <laughs> I, Andy Stepp thinks I have him by a few inches. Well, you I don't know, know. You might. <laughs> Comes the punt. Nice punt. Jaden Terry looks like he's, he's going to let, go. let that one go. Good, good decision. I think that was smart. A great punt. You know, Winnemac, it was a great punt, but Winnemac with their best starting field position of the game. <laughs> Great this is exciting. Great defensive stand by the Warriors. Man. You know, you wonder about senior night. And I don't know. How long did that take? A half an hour before the game <laughs> where we announced it? Seniors, we got stuff at halftime. Right. you got to wonder sometimes, does that cause a distraction for the for so. the kids and the coaches? I think the coaches just rather not have that. It throws it's them kind out of their, a, a throws them off their routine. You Routines know. off. I know uh, when Coach Roth was up here at homecoming night, he, he wasn't real impressed with homecoming when he coached. Right. He said it was something you yeah. just had to deal here with. Here comes Big Jones. Round up the middle. Great job. Nice. No, it was Hayden Clark. My fault. You know what I like about that? We've been doing a lot of sweeps and different things. I like running right up the yeah. gut. Hayden put his head down. He went over somebody. Offensive line held their blocks very well. 
Ball spotted just across midfield for another Warrior first down. <laughs> so we are at the 51-yard uh, line. <laughs> and same thing. Hayden Clark, he's Ooh. just going to be tripped up. It's like a shoestring tackle yeah. by uh, number 34. It just says Braden on here. Yeah. He's a 5'10 junior. A little slow to get up, but he's back in it. Mercy. You know, you got to wonder if field conditions are uh, a little bit of a factor. We well, haven't seen kids slipping around, though. We've had uh, several inches of rain here lately. Um, yeah. It sure looks tore up it out looks there pretty if you bad. look at the field. A lot of dirt spots. Mm -hmm. and Mercy. Okay, so Chadro said that they're going up the middle because the cuts are hard in this soft. Yeah. There's Russell. Designed run. Nice patient run by Russell. And he's going to get oh, four or five, maybe. 76, Elijah Hernandez in on that stop for the Trojans. Elijah Hernandez on the stop. Under two minutes to go. It's our buddy Don Amadai out there um, tonight, one of the officials. If he's on the crew, it's a good crew. I'm okay. We've seen him... Uh, do some basketball games, I Quite think. Quite a few basketball. He's yeah. done a couple interviews with us. Yeah, he out. came up and was on with us for a while. Yep, he's a great guy. He's got a few more years left to work for the Department of Child Services, but, man, okay. he's busy every weekend Good. Um, doing these games and that's stuff. That's, that's what keeps you young, right? Is that a false start, or nope. is that going to be an encouragement? Timeout. Win him at. Okay. I got a little timeout flag that I'm going to throw <laughs> up here. Sometimes it works. So when I'm actually going to call a timeout, just a minute 28 to go here in the first quarter. Coach Hendricks is going to pull this team together. and You know, we're going to jump over to a, uh, a word from one of our sponsors. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Winamac TV. Tim Gearhart, my partner, the captain, Shay Caston, the Chad Compton, straight out of Compton, the dean of Compton. You know, how many more nicknames can this guy have? <laughs> He's just that awesome. He is that awesome. He's a nickname magnet. <laughs> And he's throwing that uh, the rain gear. The cover around like it's nobody's business. You know what? He just he does it for you people at home. Uh-oh. It's going to be a bad snap. And Russell's going to get gonna, on it. So mercy. It's going to make it maybe third and, wow, third and 20 maybe. you got to think that's not what Coach Hendricks had in mind. Probably not. So really nothing going Winamax way tonight, Tim. All the little breaks definitely have favored so, Triton. Um and that's going to change. That, that'll change. Feel. The veteran team that Winnemac has, that'll change. Russell back pass. Got a lot of time. Looking deep and just couldn't quite. I don't know who that was. Compton's pass ball is incomplete. Brings up fourth down for the Warriors. This so, replay brought to you by Rich Zider with Zider Farms. It's a great, great uh, standby, Triton, again. Winamac's going to have to punt. You see the Terminator tonight? I have not seen him down there. I'm sure he's I here. I think he's a factor. Like, I'm, sure he's he's not here, here, I'm sure he's here somewhere. I think it's throwing the mojo off. Great, great punt. Look, Look at another that. Another legit punt. We're going to call a fair catch. That's going to be about the four-yard line. Another great punt by yeah. Braden Heater. So let's see if the D can uh, come up big here. You know, I feel like we need to capture hang time. Like we could, that, that had some serious hang time it on really it. really did. I yeah. think we maybe we should pull out a watch. I can or use a, my phone. On your phone. Maybe next I'll punt we'll try to do a little hang well, Hopefully time. we don't punt again, but if we do. Well, you know what? That's a good point. <coughs> if we do. Looks like the ball's on the... Uh, 10, maybe, 11. And the pitch goes to Shu. And wow. Wow. Russell. Russell. Let's have another look at that. You know, we call the dean of local journalism, Paul Hedinger, the Terminator. Maybe we ought to call Russell Compton the Terminator because <laughs> he was seek and destroy. Yes, he was. A little bit of loss. We'll call it 
Oh, call it second and ten and a half. How's that? I like it. 10.5. And that's going to do it for the first quarter already, Tim. Gee, many Christmas. We're going to jump over to a timeout here in the frat house. We're going to be right back in just a few minutes. Welcome back to Winnemac TV. He's bossy. You know what? <laughs> He's bossy. Chad Watts gets he gets it done. He does. He's telling you know, people somebody has the... to be the heavy around here, and it's got to be Chad Watts because Lord <laughs> knows Andy Step is not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> right up the middle. Let me get Can on about that. five yards. I don't know. You know what? It's going to be about third and four now. 32 Trey Shue on the carry. Here comes the third down play. Look for Shue again. Not sure. I don't think he got it, Tim. <clears throat> nope. Just went right up the middle. Yeah. Not a whole lot there. So it's going to be about, about a yard shy. About a yard shy. Now what do you do? You know what? You're leading seven to nothing. Go for you it. Don't go, I don't think you go for it on fourth down if you're if you're Triton. Now they might. It looks like they're bringing in their punt team. But in some different personnel. It would be awful gutsy to go for it on fourth down here. Deep in your yeah, own territory. Play safe. I think with their running backs, I think I would. Yep, there's going to be a punt. I would keep an eye on the up back. There's you know, if they be were a timeout. Down. Yeah, well, maybe they're going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's an interesting situation because Triton's gambled on a couple of different plays—a fourth down play deep in their own territory. They gambled on the onside kick. Mm -hmm. Everything's worked out for you. But you know, there's a reason why kids are not encouraged to gamble because eventually <laughs> the house wins, right? So, do you keep pressing your luck? I like how you tied that together. Yeah. I like how you tied that together. Gambling's Tim. a real addiction. It's a problem, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If I'm the Warriors, I just let the punt go here and I set up for a play. Let's see what they do. Yep. You might be right. There's nobody deep for yep. they're Winnemac. gonna go for it. I'm gonna stuff that box and <laughs> oh my, this could be a turning point. This here. is a huge play in the game. Huge play. It does look like he got He's gonna it. Get it. Well, you know what? It paid off again. Yeah, it did. Take another so, look at that one. Wow. Critical, critical play. That'll reset the downs. Still deep in their own territory. Mm. You know, more importantly, if you're Triton almost, is the clock keeps running. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have no doubt that Coach Eunice would love to get into halftime up 7 to nothing. Yes. Let's take some time off the clock here. And, wow. Like, there's a there yeah there's a there's a block there's a hold there, I think uh, I think it was Jaden Terry just got tackled to the ground. Yeah, so that'll that'll come back. Good effort by the quarterback. Somebody for the Warriors was in the backfield right away. That's gonna back him up ten. That is very costly. Yep, yeah. and it was obvious too. Yeah, it was a no-doubter. Old Paul Dunn knows it's a no-doubter. <laughs> Look at him out there. I think he was 10 yards yeah. deep with the, uh, the, the marker before, yeah. uh, before it was he even He could called. have been. It was that obvious. <clears throat> it's going to be first and 20. A couple receivers on the far side for Triton. Sean Pratt and Jaden Terry go back to cover him. Here's going to be the keeper, Coles. Going to be ripped down. It's going to be a loss. Yeah, wow. You know, that looked like it was a designed mm -hmm. option, and he kept it. Wonder, as he was being brought down, maybe he thought, maybe yeah. I should have tossed this one out. 
Bo Brandt was there. Shively brought down about a yard gain, maybe. Did they pick up a yard? Yeah, a little bit. Not much. I don't know, Captain. Clock's still running. Just over nine minutes to go. Two receivers split near side. Wing back. It's going to be Shively. He's got some room. <laughs> Big hit. Yeah. Going to get a flag after the play. Let's see if we can get a look at what happened. Oh, yeah, I didn't see what happened. It looked like holding to me on Triton um, prior to uh, the hit. That was Brant on the tackle. I don't know. Let's see the call. It's quiet. It is very quiet. It's going to be a hold. It's going to be a hold. Holding the call against the Trojans. And they're going to back him up. Back him up 10 more. It's going to be a repeat of second down. It's going to be second and a... About... 20 still. Yep. Second and 20. Under nine minutes to go in the half. Trojans up 7 nothing. There's going to be a pass. It's going to be incomplete. pass falls incomplete. It's also going to stop the clock. Yeah. It's going to be third and 20. Had that set up pretty good over there. So, it's like third and 20. Shotgun shoe in the backfield. Shively back to pass. He can throw. It's going to be tipped. I'm not sure who tipped that, Tim. Let's see if we can. Kind of a kind of a sidearm pass, and uh, it was real low. See if we can get a look at who did that. Now the now the Trojans will have to punt. Jaden Terry back to receive. You know, it's hard to tell. Mm-hmm. Be fourth down. Number two, Shively in punt formation for the Trojans. So Shively gets it off. Short punt. And it's going to go out of bounds. Winnemac will start with really good field position inside the 40. So it's going to be 39 yard line. See if the Warriors can get going offensively, Tim. Ladies and gentlemen, Winnemac High School would like to remind you this evening to wear your face coverings and masks at, at wherever you are able to. Uh, and we also ask you to practice social distancing. Your cooperation allows our athletes to participate in events like this evening, so thank you. Clark in motion. Going to be a double pass. Wow. Got, got a guy. It's going to be He's a Winnemac touchdown. touchdown. Nope. Oh they, my! They didn't. They didn't signal. They're gonna say he's down about the one. You know what? I'm gonna. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Legal procedure oh against the Warriors. Let's take a look. I didn't. I don't know. Maybe they should specify what an illegal procedure was. And I'll tell you what. That was a touchdown. He was not down before the end zone. So it's going to push him back five yards. Oh, man. No. You know, I was just about ready to say that Winnemac has really done a nice job of having to – I think that was their first penalty. It was. And that's one thing that this team is really uh, needing to address throughout the season is keeping penalties down. And Clark's going to be brought down. 
Ball goes up the middle of number 18, Hayden Clark. He's forward for a yard. I'd say that's the one maybe uh, mm -hmm. chink in the armor out of a but, really flawless season because we've had a little bit of trouble with penalties. Yeah, really really clean so far as, as far as that goes. And really tonight. one five-yard penalty is no big deal no. except for the fact that, was that that touchdown. was a touchdown play. <laughs> it's going to be second and 14. Russell back to pass. He's got good block. And he's going to be hit. Throws it out of bounds. Looks like maybe Jaden Jones was in the area. Third and 14. You know, really good job by the defensive line of the Tritons on that play, Shay. It's going to be third and 14, and I'll be a passing play here. Sean Pratt runs the play in. Jaden Jones and Sean Pratt out wide on the far side. I wonder about Russell just keeping this one. Nope. He's got all kinds of time. There he goes. He's got he's lots gonna, of real estate, Shay. He's going to get out of bounds. So Russell gets the first down. Let's take a look at that. Great play. Great vision by Russell. He saw a mm -hmm. lot of open. Uh, a lot of green out there. A lot of green. He's like, okay, I'm just going to run it then, boys. <laughs> Let's go. You want to cover all my guys? I'll just take off. Smart move by Russell getting out of bounds. So Winnemac at the 25. So Winnemac finally getting something going with their offense here, Shay. The, right middle, the middle is going to be Clark. Clark's been a workhorse so far. I like that. Pound it right up the gut. Yeah. I think Chad's right. You know, those sweeps are a little, it's a little hard to make those cuts mm -hmm. with the uh, slippery field. You just go right up the middle. You know, it looks like Triton has some size on their defensive line, they though. Do. These aren't little guys out there. No, this is a good team. Russell's going to come out with a shotgun here. Keep your eye on Hayden Clark. Oh, wow. Terry's got some room. And he, see, he's so a double handoff. And he slipped there. He went to cut and he slipped. So that ball got handed off to Hayden. Hayden. And, and then Hayden handed it to Jaden. So kind of a, re it was a reversal. A little bit. But it yeah. was a compact an, reversal. An inside reverse. Inside reverse? You know that? I don't know. That's just that what I That sounds made up. sophisticated. Yeah. Counter crisscross okay. the uh, Chad Watson. Wow, that's too much. And he is that's the professor. That is too much for us, though. Yeah. Got, I mean, we can't remember that's that. That's next level stuff. Andy Stepp knows what's going on, but we don't. Well, that's going to be right up the middle for Russell. He's going to get five or six out of that. First down. Looks like, are we inside the 10? So that's going to be first and goal at what? The 9.5? <laughs> Ball spotted inside the 10-yard line. That's where the Warriors are going to have it. First and goal. Nothing under center. He's going to go right up the middle again. I like it. Get it about to the five. Why not? Let's try it again. Why not, Tim? Ball spotted right near the five-yard line. That'll be second down and goal for the Warriors. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, with those seniors involved in the cheering, uh, cross country and girls golf and their escorts, please make your way to the open end of the track near the concession stand. Hey, off. Hayden Clark fighting. I think he got in. Touchdown. So touchdown, win a match. So win a match going to tie it up. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, with the senior cheerleaders, cross country. Gretchen told me to tell you just to do it. And their escorts, please make your way to the north end of the track. A magic Foot's kick is going to be good. 
So it's going to tie it at seven, Tim, with four and a half minutes to go in the, the half. So a recent uh, update that just came in from the uh, statistician. From the statistician in the back row. That was 31 out of 31 field goal or no, extra point attempts by Max Murray. Wow. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty awesome. 31 attempts, 31 through the uprights. I've never done 31 things in a row correctly. <laughs> I don't know about you, Shay. <laughs> I think I had 29 seniors, so it was 1.31. <laughs> <laughs> Three, Matt Perry set to kick off for the Warriors. So the Warriors will kick off. And Triton gets the ball to start the second half, Tim. Well, maybe Winnemack will do an onside kick. Maybe. So apparently uh, Coach Rodabush, he's the one that came up with that stat for okay. uh, Max Murray, old magic shoes. No wonder he has a contract with Nike. I know, right? Low Look kid. at that. It's gonna be that taken. was a wicked spiral. That was. Michael Lamer, he's going to wrestle him back here, buddy. <laughs> Let's take a look at Michael Lamer's tackle again. It's like we might have somebody down on the far side. Uh, I'm getting up slow. Is that uh, Sean Pratt? Sure. I think so. Number 31. Looks like Sean's okay. He's going to stay in the game. The Trojans come to the line. One receiver split out this way. Shively is going to be a flag. And maybe two yards. It's going to be a false start on the Trojans. So back him up. Illegal procedure. It'll we'll be first to be first and 15. So first and 15. Shively back to pass. And a throw. It's going to be incomplete. Looks like he was going to 24. Cole Irvine. Junior. Triton only has one senior. Two seniors, Tim. Wow. It's a very young Triton team. So second and 15. From about the 28-yard line. It's going to be a handoff to Shue. And he's going to get seven or eight yards. It's going to make it third and manageable. over three and a half minutes to go here in the half. Let's see if the Warriors can hold. Let's say third and six. Going to be the pitch. Now, big tackle. Olds was in it. Holahan was in on it. So it's going to bring up fourth and. So that'll leave the Trojans fourth down and about four. 
So fourth and four, let's see with Triton. It looks like they're going to go for it, Tim. You know, I think they ought to go for it here. Well, I don't know. Time's ticking away. you got to think they'd be really happy going in with a tie. Yeah. Although two and a half minutes is a lot of time for this Winnemac offense that we know can score rapidly. Quick. You know, scoring update, Pioneer just went ahead of North Judson by a score of eight to nothing. Okay. And they're uh, towards the end of the first quarter. So the Trojans are going to call a timeout and talk about it. So let's jump over to a, uh, a quick chat with our sponsors. What do you say, Shay? Sounds good. All right, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Winnemac TV. Tim Gerhardt, my partner, the captain, Shay Caston. We have the dean of Compton, the Chad Compton, straight out of Compton, working the camera. <laughs> going to be interesting to see what happens here. It looks like... Uh, Maybe they're going to pump, but I'd, I'd be real careful here. Watch the fake. They talked about it. Yep, Cole Shively back to punt, but... He is their you know quarterback what? also. He is going to kick away. Gonna go ahead and punt it. Short punt. That is short. Looks like it may have landed in bounds, and, and there's some some nothing. A little bit of a late, some stuff going on over there, but like Michael Lamer was involved, <laughs> but uh, it's all in fun. Nice. Michael Lamer ate dinner at our house before the game. <laughs> He's loaded up on yeah, spaghetti and ragu. <laughs> <laughs> Tim got Michael all jacked up. Tim was out in the yard with Michael, going over some plays and stuff. Him up a yeah. Bit. <laughs> And Luna attacking him out in the yard. Trying to I'll tell you what, he's getting strong. I think old chicken must work him pretty good. So he's he's a strong kid. Yeah. He's really having a pretty good season. He is having Winnemac. a good season. So shotgun. Three receivers. Russell's going to throw it. Big stiff arm by Clark. He could go. He's going to cut back. Big run by Hayden Clark. Wow. So Irvine's going to bring him down, but not before Clark gets about, what, 30 or 40 yards. Let's take a look at that. Some really good blocking. And then uh, Hayden Clark doesn't generally get stopped by just one guy. No, you got to have at least two guys. Did you see the stiff arm? The stiff arm was pretty classic. It's a real thing. And Winamax starting to threaten. They're just knocking on the door of the red zone, first and ten. And Clark right up the middle. Why not feed him? Yeah. He's hot. There's going to be a flag. Not sure what that was. Late flag. Maybe a face, face mask? mask? Looks like the uh, back judge thought maybe a face mask. Or Oh, it's going to be on Triton. Wow. Things so just kind of falling apart here. Penalties for the have really hurt the Trojans. You know, everything was going the Trojans' way the first quarter, and then yeah. uh, here midway through the second quarter, it's really been all Winamax, Shay. So first and goal is on the six. I, you got to think that Clark's going up the middle here, and he does. Ooh, He's going to get short. down to about. And they're going to get another penalty. Oh, my. Is that a... Uh, well, Hayden, Hayden right off the bat. Uh, let's see if the, maybe Hayden got face masked on yeah, that one. He, he, uh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, his head came down in a hurry. Man, old Hayden's going to... Did he just receive two face masks yes. in a yeah. row? That's rough. Yeah, that one was pretty bad. You gotta think Russell's gonna go right up the middle here. Why not? Yeah, he's gonna get in. He walks in. Good job by Russell. So big drive by the Warriors. Don't hear the the really obnoxious Triton coaches beside us here. Kind of quiet down now. <laughs> <laughs> So Max Murray going for 32 for 32 this year. And I don't know. We might have jinxed him. We oh, did. Mercy. We shouldn't have talked about yeah. it. Real cool, Gretchen. 
Well, actually, it was. Uh, it came from out here, Coach. <laughs> yeah, he just kind of. That was kind of a knuckleball. He button, hooked, foot. he button hooked it. You know, I don't think he had his uh, the correct shoes on for the situation. I, I think that Nike had given him a new like a new pair to try. They, it was a, it was a trial pair they gave him, and he it just didn't work. He's yeah. going to go back to the other ones. Well, <laughs> hopefully that doesn't come back to haunt Winnemac. I'm pretty sure we're going to be okay. Yeah, we've never actually talked about his uh, his streak, and then when we did, literally the very <laughs> next kick. So you know, what? maybe that is on us, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It happens. I'd rather have it happen now than in the playoffs. You know what? Next week is game one. Of yeah. Round one. Of we'll, ta- we'll take it now. Yeah. Get it out of his system. Everything looked good on the replay. Everything, the uh, the snap looked good. The hold looked good. And <laughs> Let's see if he gets angry with this kick. I think this is going to be an angry kick, Captain. <laughs> Nice kick, Mercy. I like it. That is an angry kick. Yeah. He's taken by shoe. He's, he's going to get out to the 28, 29. How about the, uh, Tim, I'd like to give a shout out to, uh, Fratco, they donated some tile for the fence here so people can lean on it. Oh, and that's cool. Yeah, so thanks to Fratco and then uh, the DeSabatine brothers for installing that. You know what? We have a lot of great <coughs> supporters in the community of um, these student athletes. and Pretty cool. Minute 16 to play, Captain. There's number 12, and he's going to be taken out. you got to think that they... Uh, that old uh, Coach Eunice is not wanting the clock stopped here. You no. think he wants to get in the in the uh, locker room just down six? That's what I'm thinking. Looks like they lost about one yard on that play. Second down for the Trojans. So it looks like it is 16 to nothing right now in favor of Pioneer. Okay. <clears throat> Pioneer taking care of business at Pioneer. So it's going to, we'll call it second and 11. Shively back. Comes under center. And gonna they're going to start player. early. Penalties again. Let's take a look at that. Looks, looks like a uh, offside or false start. Yeah. So definitely not what Coach Eunice wanted. Nope. <clears throat> About second 16. And the clock has stopped again. Yeah. Yeah, They're right up the middle. Yeah, they're going to try to get a little bit of time off the clock. I think. See what Coach Hendricks does. Coach Hendricks is going to take a timeout. Yeah, why not? Yeah. That was Riley Wood. <laughs> That's Winnemac's second timeout. They're going to stop the clock with just over a minute. And uh, Winnemac's going to have a chance to get the ball with, I don't know, they can use one more timeout for fourth yeah. down. And uh, what, maybe get the ball back with mid-40s. Something. Welcome yeah. back to Winnemac TV. Tim Garrett, my partner, <laughs> the captain, Shea Caston. You know, for up to up to the minute updates throughout the uh, throughout the evening, just go to chadwatts.com. <laughs> we don't know what you'll find there, but <laughs> if it's something interesting, please let Hand us know. Off to shoe. He's going to be down. About maybe five. Yep. Yeah. Winnemac calling a timeout yeah. there. It's going to be make it fourth and about four. So 54 seconds. You know, something interesting here. So fourth and four, um, if you kick the ball, Winamax got, I don't know, 45, 45 seconds yeah. left. 
Or do you go for it on fourth? The clock stops. If you don't get it, the clock does stop. Right. But in the event that you do get it, you know, the last punt um, that was kicked by Triton was only about a 15, 20-yard yeah. boot. Yeah, that's um, a good, so good you point, give yourself Sam. a chance for a first down here instead of uh, and, you, and you have a back that's got over a thousand yards rushing so far. So uh, yeah, why not? So yeah, <clears throat> it'll be interesting to see what Triton does. It appears as though they're kicking, which is probably the you it's know the that's safe. the conservative it's a safe one, and they've been right in this game. But you know you do have your quarterback as your punter, so that helps, and you have your running back as one of the back back men here. So. What you know? I I think it'd be worth a try. Well, he might just take off with it, and not pass it. He is going to punt it away. Almost blocked. Yeah, pretty decent punt. Terry thought about getting it, but it'll be just. Yeah, that buries Winnemac. Yeah, but you know, a big a big Hayden Clark run and. Uh, with Russell's arm, anything's possible. We've yeah. seen that last year in the regional. Well, Winamax sitting on one timeout left. No, they've used all no, of them. No, they've used they? them all. So they yeah. have no timeouts left. So 44 seconds to play. I wonder about that halfback pass again. I expect that wouldn't work twice in the same half, do you reckon? Might as well. Jace Bennell into the game, sophomore. He can go up and get one. 6'2", 160. <laughs> I wonder if Winamax just going to down it here. No, nope. I don't think so. I don't know what happened. I don't think the uh, officials were quite ready. They weren't ready yet. <clears throat> so okay. that's going to give the Trojans a little bit. A little bit of little an idea bit, of what we were doing. Yeah, right? they're going to get some data points. Now, I'm sure they're not surprised to think that Russell's dropping back to pass in this situation. Right. Though. So that's probably not a shocker. All right, here we go back to the same formation. Bennell split towards us. Is that Hayden in the backfield? It's like Clark in the backfield. They're going to lob one to Bennell. It's going to be out of bounds. Caught by number 76, Lane Halterman on the bench. That's Jace Bittle. Pass ball is incomplete. Second down. Chad Watts is a word man up here in the frat house. <laughs> he just likes to talk about it. It's all right. <laughs> Does stop the clock, 38.5 to play in the half. Terry in motion gives it to Hayden Clark. Clark's got some room. And get he's out of still bounds. going. He's out of bounds. It's going to stop the clock. Yes. So big run by Hayden Clark. 31 seconds left. Out of bounds on the far side. Be a first down for the Warriors about the 44 yard line. First and 10. The Warriors. Big game there. And here comes Benel back into the game. 31.4 to play. Wonder how close they need to get for a for a uh, Max Murray attempt here. I think field goal range is. A little redemption time. Winnemac comes out with trips right. Shotgun for Russell. Looking deep. He's got Benel who falls down. And there we go with the, that's the, the field condition. Yeah. Good throw by Russell. He yeah. put it right where it needed to go. Yeah, that's just field condition. We got a Hoosier North Athletics score to update you on. We got the Pioneer Panthers 16, North Judson 0. That's the end of the first quarter. Second down and check. It's going to be second and 10, 25.8. Same formation. Heater out our way. Compton goes to Hayden Clark. Clark, nice cutback, and he's going, and that'll probably be the last play of the half, Tim. Good chance. We'll see if the Winnemac gets the ball off. 11 seconds. See if we spike it. We do. 
Yep. Got 7.9 to play here. So we're at, what, fourth down and four? Yeah. Better update the situation on here. Now I think you just really, at this point, you just bomb it downfield, you know? Yep. Uncle Larry calls this the 51 yard line. Okay. <laughs> like that? Who's Uncle Larry? It's a buddy of mine. Uncle okay. Larry. Well, we're, I'm so used to hearing Uncle Randy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what Uncle Randy calls it. I don't know. It. <laughs> he probably calls it the 49 like the rest of humanity. But oh, oh and when, when I'm asking to jump, jump, it's not good. It's not a huge cut. I mean, no. I I'm going to put five yards. Fourth and nine. Probably doesn't change the play call. No, it looks like we're going to punt, though. Yeah, it does. So they had a... Uh, they had something. They had a 49 yard play, but that 49 <laughs> yard play is not a 54 <laughs> yard play. So it's different. I like it. Punt. Yep. Let's get out of here and go into halftime. Pretty good punt. Lomax slips again. Wow. Good tackle. Great open field tackle. Who was that? Let's take a look. 35. Mercy. So that'll do it for the half. Bam. Wow. So we're going to jump over to uh, a word from our sponsors, and I think we're going to do some senior night stuff. Some we're more. Gonna, some more some seniors. Some more senior night stuff. You know, because we got a lot of seniors because, up in here. Because Chad Watts hasn't read enough. And, you know, Chad Watts has just been getting warmed up, and he's ready to go. So... <laughs> We'll be right back. I've been, ba I've been bashing them over here. No, don't, no, don't give me a hard time. It's on them. They're being asked. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. No, hey. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to halftime. This is my opportunity once again for you to introduce you to several more senior athletes. And their families, starting with the cheerleaders. We'll start out this evening by introducing you to Miss Kate Collins. She's being recognized this evening for cross country and cheerleading. She's being escorted tonight by her parents, Adam and Jill Collins. She's participated in both of those for four years. Kate's future plans are to attend Purdue University to major in nursing. Purdue University to major in nursing, with the aspirations of becoming a nurse practitioner. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kate Collins. Also, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Miss Beto Romero. She is also being escorted by her host family, Jill and Adam Collins. She's been here at WCHS for one year. This is her year here at WCHS. She wants to study marketing and business administration at the University of Madrid. She wants to travel a lot and be a very important businesswoman, and we're sure she can do that. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you once again to Bea Rivero. Next, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Ms. Brenna Day. She's being escorted this evening by Nicole Olds and Barry Day. She's been a cheerleader for two years. Ladies and gentlemen, her future plans are to midterm this year, and she plans to uh, begin starting in Jan uh, IUK starting in January. Uh, she plans to study nursing, hopes to work in, in the NICU. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Brenna Day. Ladies and gentlemen, next let me introduce you to Miss Delaney Hurstead. She's being escorted this evening by her mom, Tammy Lovely, and her stepdad, Bob, Bob Lovely. She has been a cheerleader at WCHS for two years. And uh, her future plans are to join the U.S. Air Force. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Delaney Herstad. <laughs> Next, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to members of the cross-country team, beginning with the managers. But first, let me introduce you to Miss Kirsten Calloway. 
She beat the whisper of the CB by Donna Teresa Callaway. She has been a four-year cross-country manager. She, her future plans are to attend Purdue University to become an extension educator. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kirsten Callaway. <laughs> Next, let me introduce you to Miss Mackenzie Terry. She's being escorted this evening by her parents, Wes and Lynn Terry. She has been a cross-country manager for one year. She plans on attending Indiana University to major in nursing and attend graduate school to become a nurse practitioner. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Mackenzie Terry. Next, let me introduce you to Miss Rory Blackman. Rory is being escorted this evening by Lindsay and Mason Blackman. She has been a member of the cross country team for four years at WCHS. She planned, her future plans are to attend Purdue University to major in exercise science. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Rory Blackman. Let me next introduce you to Mr. Christian Cardenas. He's being escorted this evening by Aurelia and Saturnine of Cardenas. He's been a cross-country member for four years at WCHS. He's going to enroll at Ivy Tech and then transfer to Purdue are his future plans. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Christian Cardenas. Ladies and gentlemen, next let me introduce you to Mr. Clay Kistler. He's being escorted this evening by Brian and Amanda Kistler. He's been a member of the cross country team for three years. His future plans are to go uh, to Manchester University and study pre-law. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Clay Kistler. Next, let me introduce you to Miss Kingsley Croft. Kingsley is being escorted this evening by her parents, Cole and Becky Croft. She has been a member of the cross country team for four years. Her future plans are to attend Purdue University and study a major in family law. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kingsley Croft. Next, let me introduce you to Miss Alexis Sheets. She's being escorted this evening by Wesley Sheets and Shelly Crick. She also has been a member of the cross country team for four years. Her future plans are to attend Purdue University and study radiology. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Alexis Sheets. Okay. Next, let me introduce you to Miss Kira Businski. Kira is being escorted this evening by Laura Businski and Becky Kopka. She has participated on the golf team at WCHS for four years. She plans to attend Indiana University Kokomo to uh, study vascular. Uh, sonography, sorry, vascular sonography. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kira Businski. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you now to Miss Janet Kelfi. She's escorted this evening by Jennifer Kelfi and Larry Stout. She has been a member of the golf team at WCHS for four years. Her future plans are noble. Her future plans are to work and make money. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Janet Kelfi. <laughs> and last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Miss Giselle Lowry. She is being escorted this evening by Rachel Plowman and Matt Lowry. She has participated all four years at WCHS on the golf team. Her future plans are to study at the University of West Florida for marine biology. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Giselle Lowry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one more big warrior round of applause for these warrior athletes and their hard work. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, let's welcome to the field the Wilmette Warrior Band. Yeah, the field was already in bad shape before this rain started. And this rain's just making it a lot worse. And you can tell by the kick. It's going to be a short kick, and it's num taken by number 42, Riley Wood. Riley's going to get out to about the 36. Michael Lamer in on the stop. So here come the Warrior defense. You got to think that that uh, leather's going to be hard to hold on to, Tim. I think it is. See, if maybe you know something to watch is the fumbles. Well, you know what? It's a good thing that Winamax in the lead right now mm -hmm. because it's going to be hard to score touchdowns. And this is the kind of weather that's ripe for an upset. Right? And Trojan in the first half they came out like a ball of thunder. They're hand it off to Shoe and wow, big hit. <laughs> Hayden Clark. You know, Russell had him tied up there. People are flying out of And then bounds. Hayden kind of flew in yeah. and finished him off. Let's take another look at that. Smash. It's a smash. The Terminator, Russell Compton. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> 
You don't like it? We tried Big Truck, and it didn't stick. And the Terminator sounds better on Paul Hedinger. The Terminator is the, the dean of local journalism, <laughs> Paul Hedinger. Yeah. But I haven't seen Paulie tonight. It's fumbled That's going to be fumbled the in the backfield. I think Triton jumped on it. It's going to make it third and about. The the Take another look. Yeah, that... <clears throat> It's like there was some miscommunication. It's going to be maybe third in the backfield. 14. I like it. This is cool. Yeah, this is cool. It's a lot cooler that we're up here, though. Yeah. So right at the 35-yard line. Fumble again, Tim. Mercy. The ball's on the ground again, recovered by the Trojans. I think we can safely assume that the Trojans are not going to go for it on fourth down at this point. <laughs> Probably not. So, I, you know, that's got oh, that's got to be due to the weather, Tim. Yep. I mean, we didn't see any of that the first half with the Trojans. Right. You know, I don't see any uh, – I don't see any uh, – 12 and under kids, grade school kids out running around right now. Either, well, Shay. you know, Chad hasn't yelled at them, so. They're He's got his job done. Well, they're scared he of him. Job. They're scared of him. Well, that's a pretty good punt that's right there. That's a real good punt. It's going to back Terry up. He handles it. He's got to get north-south here. He's got the corner. Puts his head down. Bam. Big hit by Terry. That was an angry hit. Let's yeah. check that out. Here come the Warrior offense. I have a feeling we're going to see a steady stream of Hayden Clark and Jaden Jones here. Bet we see a handful of keepers. What do you think? Right up the middle, Shay? Yeah, I think you're going to see a lot of lot up the middle here with the conditions. Rusty under center. Oh, that's going to come out of loose. Hayden's hands. I think Hayden got it back. Yeah, he did get it back. Let's take a look. Yep, it's slippery, man. Yeah. It's a mud ball. Mm -hmm. So when they're drying the ball off after every play. It looked like there was a, a Trojan that did get his arm in there and may have knocked that ball loose. So that might not have just been a straight It's not going to take much fumble. right now. Looks like the rain's let up a little bit. Hayden Clark with his own recovery, but yeah. that ball was jostled out by a Trojan. You like jostled? Jostled. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little fervor in the frat house. Around and they're the just jostled. packing the box here. Clark's going to get the edge. Big stiff arm, and he's going to be brought down. Gain of about six. It's going to make it, we'll call it, uh, we'll call it third and two. I really like watching Hayden Clark's stiff arm, guys. Yes, that's awesome. Bam. It's like Ryan Greger running the play in. So third and two, Clark in the backfield. Russell out of shotgun. Oh, it's going to keep Designed it. run. Got Russell a first down. And then the some. first down still going. Hayden Clark, good block. Good run by Russell. Great run by Russell. You know, he can drag a couple Trojans with him. Yeah. He don't care. And that's, I, I saw him in April working on that in the, the yard on my way home yeah, from work. He, he just drags not, Rachel, yeah. uh, April around the yard like that. And <laughs> really something. She, she had a tire behind him and was making yep. him run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hayden again. Hayden's still on his feet. Wow. wow. What do you think he got about three? Three or four. We'll call it four. Yeah. Looks like 59 Landon Lemire on the stop for the Trojans. Picked up about four yards on that play. Second down. Under seven and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Sean Pratt running the play in. 
Ball spotted about the 36-yard line. Second down for the Warriors. Second and six and a half for the Warriors. Russell just keeps Russell it. Russell going to get four get about or five more. Getting close. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> really good time for Winnemac to have a quarterback like Russell Compton mm -hmm. that can just keep the ball and go. Yeah. That way well, you don't have to worry about that handoff or – um, yeah. That seems to be a, a spot where problems happen for the seen, Trojans. Yeah, well, we had one, so. Rain lightening up just a little bit. It's a handoff to Clark up the middle. He's going to get the first down. Looked like he might have slipped a little bit. It's a little slow to get up. Yeah. The first down Warriors. Clark a little ginger going back to the huddle. Yeah. wonder what his mom, Lindsay, thinks about having to watch those pants tonight. <laughs> Blue Dawn just so. He does seem to be Gets favoring. Clark out. does seem to be favoring his right leg just a little bit when yeah. he's walking. Like they're going to run a new ball in. He's going to stay in there. Rusty under center. Look at everybody in the box here. He's just going to go right up the middle. Yeah. Going to get a few. Gets a couple yards on the play. You, you know, if you wanted to, right now would be the uh, ideal time to pass. Looks like 73 Luke Cooper in on that stop. Second down for the Warriors. Second it's going to be seven. second and seven or eight for the Warriors. 11 men in the box for the Trojans. Here comes Clark. If he can get that edge, he's got he the does. edge. Here he goes. Clark not quite in. He's going to be out of bounds inside the five-yard line. Oh, my. It's going to be first and goal. Yeah. Let's take a look at that. Great run. Great job by the Warriors. You nice know, good cut, blocking nice up cut. front. And you're right. That was a good block by Hayden. Hmm? Well, I'm using my bifocals, honey. <laughs> I'm kind of old. I'm glad that you noticed, though, that I had to look so close at the screen. Compton right up there. Now he's going to hand it off. And give it to Clark. And touchdown, Winnemac. Like when a max going to go for it, you know I like it. Yeah. Either running the play in. It's like the Warriors keep the offense and on the field. We'll go for two. Russell out of the shotgun. He's going to pass it. Why not? And he gets he got it. it. You know, I like the play call because yeah, everybody assumes it's going to be a run. Yeah. Let's take a look. Or Jaden Terry. So big score for the Warriors, Tim. You know, Russell with a good pass. He had to thread a needle. There was a defender that was crashing on that. Yeah, kind of went for it. I couldn't see. I thought maybe they got it but, or picked it off. You know, good blocking uh, and protection for the Warriors. Looks like April's going to have fun washing those pants also. You know what? April just enjoys <laughs> washing uh, uniforms. We're going to be Tim Gerhardt, my partner, the captain, Shay Cast, and that touchdown brought to you by Compton Lawn Care. <laughs> And snow plowing. And snow plowing. <laughs> <laughs> April Compton rolling her eyes at this moment. You know, I, I can't see it, but I can feel her eyes twitching back in her head. <laughs> nice kick. <clears throat> Taken by Shu. Wow. Yeah. Making guys miss. Yeah, Sean there goes Crash going to get him. Ball loose. Nope, I think uh, he was, was on the ground. Good call. 
It is getting muddy down there, Shay. <laughs> I think they're having fun out there. I'm having fun up here. <laughs> Watch how muddy that ball is. We got a Hoosier North Athletic Conference uh, matchup update. I don't know about field maintenance. I wouldn't want to be responsible for the field after no. this game. It's pretty chewed so, up out there. Halftime at Royal Center. North Judson 8, Pioneer 16. Okay. Pretty good game down there. Yeah. So I believe the shoe right up the middle. Big, big hit. hit. He stays on his feet. That was Russell with the big hit. The Terminator, Russell Compton. I can't really see his number. <laughs> Damn. R Russell fell in the biggest mud puddle out there, I think. Oh, my. It's a big hit, wasn't it? He is covered. It's going to be second and about four. Yeah. Shoe in the backfield. You know, pitch it to him. Wow, oh, nowhere. Pick. Who was that? Number seven, that's Xavier Holohan. Xavier, they call him X. Yeah, X that's a pretty cool nickname. That is a pretty cool nickname. That's way cooler than the captain. X got in the backfield quick that time. <laughs> It just is. It is. It is. <laughs> Third and ten for the Germans. Back to pass. Having All trouble finding time. time. And it's almost gonna, an interception. It's going to be on the ground. Say incomplete. Quarterback really had trouble finding his footing on that. Take yeah. a look at this. Like He's slipping around back there, and he just throws it. That was all arm. Jaden Terry goes back. Cole Shively back to punt. Shively's had some nice punts tonight. Yeah, he has. <laughs> Jaden Terry picks it up. It. Okay, cut up the middle. Got a little Could seam. Be trouble. Nice return. He's going to get out across the 50, still on his feet. They're going to say he was out of bounds. It's about the 45. This replay brought to you by Rich Zider and Zider Farms. Rich is down there. You know, he never did come up for he any did, pig he shots didn't. tonight. I figured he'd smell those out right away. Uh, yep. He has a pretty good nose for pork. <laughs> That's what I've heard. And the Warriors will take over. Tyler Perry running the play in. Short field for the Warriors. So now, Tim, would you call this the 55-yard line? Well, you know what? It's pretty darn plausible. Okay. Uncle Larry's 55-yard line. Yes. Pick up about Clark. three or four. Kind of a, a rough Rough spot. We'll take it though. Picks up three yards on that play. Second and seven for the Warriors. It's like Zane Bell going to run the play in. Zane had a nice game defensively so far. Clark loses footing. Russell takes it. He takes could it. go. Nice cut. It's a big stiff He's arm. He's still up. Wow. Russell Compton. Oh, man. The Warriors kind of having their way here in the second half, Tim, with the Triton Trojans. Yeah, I think the Trojans were just having trouble seeing him with all that mud caked over him. <laughs> it's almost <laughs> like all a, that camouflage. Like camouflage. I, it was. That's war paint for the Warriors. Ball spotted right around the 15-yard line, first and 10 for the Warriors. 
Rain starting to subside. Still a little, a little bit, bit of a drizzle. Not much. I think the damage is done out there, though. The field's... Yeah, it's in bad shape. Clark right up the middle, still fighting. I'm going to get about half of him anyway, yeah. isn't he? Maybe more. Clark's been a workhorse tonight, Tim. He really has. I really like those plays right up the middle. You know, we haven't, we haven't seen uh, a lot of Jaden Jones. He's a little bit more of a, a cutting running back and probably a little worried about his footing. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, and also, we're, this is the last regular game of the season. You don't want to show your hand, you know, yeah. to the opposing teams. So. <laughs> Under a minute to go in the third quarter. Oh. Is that Terry? Lost his footing, slipped. I think he got a little bit out of it. And he did kind of slide right out of the yeah. gate, didn't he? Let's take another look. You know, kind of skidded when he saw the Trojans. We'll call it third and four. <clears throat> it's going to do it for the third quarter, Tim. Yep. That looks like that's it. We're going to jump over to a timeout. A word from our sponsors. We're going to be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Winnemac TV. It's getting a little bit spry up here in the front. It, it is. It's getting pretty crazy. Yep, it's a little edgy. <laughs> so this is Tim Garrett, my partner, the captain, Shay Cass, and we have the Chad Compton straight out of Compton, also known as the Dean of Compton. He's got an umbrella out there. He's That's just straight dedication. <laughs> it is. You know, he's... He's just been been working it tonight. Well, We're April, sitting up here just kind of relaxing. Enough. She went back outside. Well, you know, she she's probably she had, had enough, enough of us. I can't see what's... The Russell's going to be close to a first down. Fourth and one. I think they go for it on this. What yeah, do you reckon? you go for it here. Definitely within field goal range. But Deep in... Trojan territory. I don't see Magic Foot coming out. It looks like we're going for it. Let's say you go Russell right up the middle here. What do you think, Tim? <clears throat> I've never seen a Russell with a quarterback sneak where he's lost yardage, Shay. He's going to hand it off. Or and it's going to be good. Or you can just go Hayden Clark into you the end zone. You know what? Zone. I think everybody was yeah. waiting for uh, Russell yeah. to keep tuck that ball under, and so big night for Hayden to Clark, twenty-seven to seven. Bam! The extra He's bloody. point. So we're in. So Max Murray. Again, so Max Murray. And he's going to... That one's good. No good. No good? Missed it right. Or left. You know, that mud, I just think that that's... A well, I, yeah, the, the snap came out weird, and Max Gerhardt had to kind of reach for it. He got it down, but it, I think it threw the timing off just a little. You know, the wa yeah, like you said, the water and the mud and everything else. It's just not real great conditions to do that. We're going to jump over to another quick word. We'll be right back. Nope, I didn't make it happen. Let's try that again. You know what? Let's skip the timeout. <laughs> that touchdown brought to you by Compton Lawn Care Service for all your lawn care and snow plowing needs. <laughs> <laughs> or shoveling. <clears throat> Some shoveling. He likes you know to what? shovel. He, he definitely yeah. <laughs> likes. Chad would like to defend himself right now. Actually, here. We used to have. Well, how come Chad's not mic'd up? He used to be. We don't have. We don't have a third split or another well, what splitter. What happened to it? We need to. We need to talk to Did the. Did Steve uh, steal it? We need to talk to the dean of RTC <laughs> and find out what's happening. The Steve Stricker. Yeah. I'm still waiting on this party ball emblem that Steve hasn't got us yet. Yeah. It's, I don't think it's going to happen, Shay. 
Well, there's always next year. Well, Aubrey's back. I am back, yeah. What's going on? Not too much. Just enjoying the game are out you, of the rain in the press box. Are you glad you're out of the rain? You're in the frat. It's, yes. it's the frat house. I feel privileged. I mean, I it feel is special. the frat house. Yes. So, game started off a little slow in Winamax's favor, but uh, they they've came back nice. And yeah, they, they did. Held a they point. just wanted us to be on edge a little bit. They put did. Out a good show. You know what? That's okay. Keep the keep the fans invested on senior night. It's muddy out there. It is muddy. I, I, I can imagine that that's a little bit more difficult than the average <laughs> game, that's for sure. The white pants are definitely suffering yeah. tonight, that's for sure. I feel bad for whoever's in charge of their laundry. <laughs> so it's going to be uh, ball on about this, what, 16? Yeah, I'd say. 15, 16, somewhere in there? Somewhere in there. We're close. It's hard to tell from up here. It is hard to see. You know, we got some umbrellas <laughs> obscuring the view. It's going to be a handoff. That's going to be Shoe. He's going to be taken down. Whole host of Warriors. Whole host of Warriors. What a line. Bo Brandt. Bo Brandt. I, we always wait for Chad Watts to say who made the tackle, then we just yeah. repeat then it. Then we repeat it. You yeah. know what? That's that's Chad Watts' job, and you know what? He does a pretty nice job. He does a nice job. He's we, confident with we, it, even we, if he doesn't exactly We give him know. a lot of grief up here, but yeah. he does do a nice job. Yeah, absolutely. He needs the grief. <laughs> you got to keep Mr. Watts in check. off the shoe. So who's our sectional draw? I haven't been West updated Central. on that. West Central. Okay. So we go to West Central... Next Friday. All right. And then I uh, believe if the stars align, we could play North Judson. Right. And how and how's North Judson season been going? They're pretty good. Okay. They're pretty good. We we didn't um, we didn't play that game. We were out with COVID. So right. Right. I remember that. We missed that game, and the week before we missed Laville. Oh wow. So wow. two pretty uh, would have been two, two pretty good games. Right. Exactly. So that should be interesting then. And there's a quarterback keeper. Give him chase, and they're gonna get out of bounds. Logan Schultz, Logan Schultz is mad that he didn't get there. Yeah. So where do you, where are you studying in college, Aubrey? Well, you know, Shay, that's a good question. That's a good question. I, I, you know what? You and know, that's that's okay. That's a, yeah, absolutely. That's okay. I've had friends uh, that came in with majors that have switched it two or three times already, and okay. I'm just knocking out the classes that I have so to you're, get. You're making the smart the move, and right? You're just exactly. Saying, I feel like I'm in a much better position than them. Good but, deal. Yeah. Good deal. So if you have any suggestions, you let I, me. You <laughs> let me know. I don't. No, that's all right. Me neither, so. <laughs> so the ball's going to be about the 48-yard line where the Warriors will take over. You're, ju you're just concentrating <laughs> on softball right now, Correct, aren't you? Correct, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, for sure. So do you practice every day? Yeah, so for we hours, practice like hours, um, it's like a, twelve it's, hours. A yeah, day you know yeah. what? Pretty much. Yeah, it's it, you just it's a commitment, you know. But it is it's a little bit more um, hours on the on the practice field than high school, obviously, just no. because it's a different level. But it's not too bad once you get used to the schedule. It becomes more of a routine, and it makes more sense. But now, do you? Um what position are you playing? Pitching? And yeah, so I'm doing pitching in outfield right now. Um, okay. But really, you just you never know, especially okay. with um, COVID and all that kind of stuff still going yeah. on a little bit. You have to be flexible. Okay. Yeah. So another run by Hayden Clark. You got six on the carry. Second down for the Warriors. Ball's at about the 42-yard line. How is it? like to uh, give Jed Bainey a shout-out, who's watching. Where's Jed live at now, Tim? Do you remember? Is Anderson somewhere down there? I think he's at school. Yeah. So, used to uh, went fishing a couple times with Jed in Wisconsin. So, haven't seen him for a few years, but let's say hi to Jed. So we have a flag. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like it's going to be a holding against Winnemac. 
That'll be a 10 yard penalty for the spot of the foul. So we'll have second down again. Make a second about 13. Tyler Perry running the play in. I think it's is it almost quit raining out there, Aubrey? It looks yeah, it looks like we're oh, just have a light sprinkle going on right now. Oh yeah, it is still a little bit. Just missing a little bit. Yeah. There were some big raindrops going on earlier. <laughs> The frat house got real crowded real quick. Yeah, it really did. I came back up the second time when there was double the people in here than when the first time. I was Fumble, up. ball's on the ground. Looks like Russell recovered it. There we go. Ooh. Ball on the Whoa, there's got to be a flag there. Yeah. I don't remember Triton be being like this in the past. No. There's some... We're going to check it out on the replay. That's a 15 yard penalty. It's going to be a 15 yard penalty. That'll make it first down, Warriors. Final spot of the penalty is giving the Warriors a first down. It's going to be Winamac first down. Tyler Perry will come into the game. I didn't realize we had this many seniors on the team yeah. this year. I was really surprised 21 when I walked or 22, up. Something really, like that. 21, yeah. 22. And a lot of them are first-year football players, aren't they? We yeah. got a lot of new guys I coming mean, in. We had the core guys that have played for the right, started right. their whole, you know, four years. But yeah, a lot of them are first-year guys. Yeah, coming off a season like last, like last year's, you know, you get a little hype around it. Yeah, the guys get interested, and that's going to be really good for our program. Yes, it is. Future. So Maddox Buzinski into the game. He's, He's a get, young guy too. Yeah, yeah, they brought Hayden out for a few plays. He's been running a lot, giving him a little bit of a break. Yeah. So Maddox is going to get about two yards. Is he a sophomore now? Yes. Awesome. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so if it's rain's picking up a little bit. Hand up the middle. Looks like Maddox again. Maddox is going to get about three on that. It's going to make it third and five. Third down for the Warriors. Let's look for Russell to roll out here, take it himself. Perry running the play in. Third and six, Tim. Yeah. Now Jones, I think that's Jaden Jones. When he went to cut, he lost his footing. I think the Warriors are going to go for it here. Why not? You're deep in yeah. Triton territory. Yeah. You can't really do much with the weather. You might as well go for it. Jones is... Jones is a really dynamic running back, but he has to be able to cut. Yep. And uh, just not, this ground isn't conducive for cutting right now. Good analysis, yeah. Captain. Yeah. That's kind of next level, really. <laughs> you sound like you know what you're talking about. It's like encroachment. <laughs> yep, encroachment on the defense. Wow. So the penalty. That was a hard the count. The penalties are. Keep racking up for the Trojans. Yep. One of these days we're going to keep stats. You know, we and we'll be able to offer up how many uh, penalty yards. <laughs> we have Val was here. If Val was here. He would be on it. He would. He would let us know what was happening. You know, we had the Colonel up here last year, and he was into it. Well, you know, we he had, had his his binoculars <laughs> and <laughs> his but, uh, eyesight's not a so good. Yeah. You know, but if we had Val here, I wonder where Val's at tonight. I don't know. Oh. Stick with the COVID stuff. <laughs> it's a handoff to Buzinski right up the middle. Just Maddox tripped with a big out. run. Let's see that again. Yeah. 
So Maddox getting some good work in tonight, Tim. Yep, the sophomore. Great run. He's pretty explosive. He is. He's going to be a big part of this running attack next year, Shay. It's good that we can get him in some, get him some runs here. You know, as a sophomore, kind of get his feet wet. He's getting everything wet tonight. <laughs> yeah. Not sure what that flag's for. Ah. Still in procedure to call against the Warriors. Is there too many guys in the huddle or something? Okay. It'll be a five-yard penalty against the Warriors. It'll be first and 15. It's going to make it third and 15 from the 17. There's what a about surprising everybody and having Russell drop back to pass. Yeah, might as well. What do you got to lose at this point, you know? Incomplete pass. Is that Maddox up the middle? He got hit pretty good. Some more. Trojan looks a little slow to get up, but he looks like he's okay. Bring up second down at about 13. <laughs> Three possession game with four and a half minutes to go here in the game. The Tritons definitely running out of time, Captain. Yes, yes they are, especially with the conditions. You, can't, you just don't you're not going to be able to move the ball real well. There's Maddox back up the middle again. Might have got a yard. Yeah. Here's the thing. Winamax taking time off the clock. This game is uh, mm -hmm. quickly getting out of reach with every yeah. second ticks off that clock. It's going to be under four minutes now. <laughs> What's up, Gretchen? How's it going? Pretty quiet out there. It's real quiet. About half the fans have left, it looks like. And Buzinski right up the middle again. Nothing there. Maybe another yard. Yeah, maybe. Maybe two. A couple yards again on the play. We'll give him two. Fourth down for the Warriors. He's going to go for it. I'd assume so. And 80 Wyatt Wheeler coming into the game. You can tell when a young guy comes in because their They're jerseys white. are white. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're, <laughs> Chad Watts suggests they're glowing. I think these that's a <laughs> proper analysis. Jusinski, <laughs> he's got a little bit of room. He's, he's close. He's, he's a couple yards short enough, but nice run. Under three minutes to play. Here come the Warriors' defense. It's like it's a pretty good mix of dirty pants and clean pants out there. So, looks like it's still 16 to 8 down at Royal Center. Both teams have all their timeouts. Shoe. Who's going to get maybe six? Come along the play, we covered by the Trojans. Looks like it'll be second down. Second and about what, four? Yeah. Fumble. 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 It's going to be recovered by the Trojans. Lose about a yard. 
It's right. like about third and five. It's like Max Gerhardt and Talon Braun coming into the game. Ball recovered by the Warriors. Oh, the Warriors recovered it. Put the ball's about the nine yard line. That's where the Warriors will have it first and goal. The Warriors get the ball right back, 2.09 to go. Russell under center. He's going to down it. I don't think there's going to be any arguments here. Just run the no. clock off. Here's the deal. This is the last regular season game. Both teams are getting ready to go into sectional play next week, and nobody wants to see their guys hurt. Nobody Shay, wants this to get hurt. It's sloppy. Really bad conditions out there. It's a good, good deal. Nobody's going to call a timeout. So it looks like it's 14 to 16 now in favor of Pioneer. So Russell's going to down it again. Minute 20 to go. So that's going to do it, Tim. It's so three three different Winnemac game Winnemac contests going on tomorrow. We have volleyball round two sectionals are taking on Rensselaer mm -hmm. at Boone Grove, right. um, one o'clock Eastern. We have uh, JV, JV football. football at Triton, 10 a.m. And uh, both the boys and girls cross-country team are running at Culver Academies for the regional um, at 1030. So that's pretty cool. And uh, Chad Watts is getting ready to, getting to ready do to an announcement. I think we need to mic him up for this Special announcement. announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, in lieu of dismissing you by section after the game, this weather is nasty enough tonight. We ask that you just, at the conclusion of the game, you just leave the stadium when the game is over, and we ask that you wait in the parking lot for those that you are going to wait for. So thank you for your support of Warrior Football. Wow. Please have a safe drive home. So Chad's depressed. He can't dismiss by section anymore. Well, you know, I don't know if the crowd was yeah. cheering for Winamax victory or if they were cheering for Chad Watts' announcement. It gets a little, a little confusing at times yeah. up here. But Chad just, yeah. See ya. <laughs> wow, it's a big, big time announcement by Chad. Uh, he basically just said, "Get out of here." Yeah, he's like, you know, you're not going to listen to me anyway. Just leave. Just leave. So, uh, <laughs> and then our next broadcast. So, assuming Winamax beats West Central next week. I believe that our next broadcast then will be when uh, Winnemac plays North Judson would be the likely round two matchup. Okay. Um, not to look past West Central, but in the rare chance that we do beat West Central. And North Judson wins, and we would be here. It'd be at Winnemac, we believe. North Judson, okay. And we will... We will broadcast that one. Okay. So that'll cool. be fun. Yeah, that will be fun. <clears throat> I had a lot of fun tonight, Captain. That was kind of the game we were waiting for in the regular season. It never happened, unfortunately, because of COVID. So yep. And Pioneer, a... actually, North Judson's coming back. It's 14-16 to 16 in favor of Pioneer right now. North Judson just scored another touchdown. Okay. They did not get the extra point. I thought I heard that Cheyenne Allen had got in. So he's still there. He's only a junior. The boys are ringing the bell. Yeah. So... Yeah, it was a good night. Winning Mac won 27-7. Uh, terrible field conditions. It was a great night. But, um, and I know we give Chad Compton a hard time sometimes, but seriously, we really appreciate Chad and yeah, and the uh, and staying outside during all that. Um, yeah. You know, with the umbrella and the cover over the camera. Right. Um, yeah. He does a great job. Thank you, know? you Chad. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I think most viewers would agree that, you know, if they can't hear what, me and you have to say that's fine because they have chad right and that's all they really need right so this game was brought to you by chad compton and compton lawn care and uh we're gonna say good night from the frat house here at rada bush field shay i had fun with it's you pal fun, yeah all right thanks See for ya. tuning in <laughs>